Oh uh, y'all, welcome back to the channel again, where we do everything Colts way. It ain't always the right way, but we get it done. Hey, look, today um, I ordered a set of these uh, you know, the glares hit me pretty good. Rigid SRM Pro backup lights. The picture of these is the uh, surface mount and flush mount. I didn't get that. I got the uh, the other mount where it's not flush. It, it goes with the bracket. So I'm gonna kind of go over how I'm gonna do these. These come with with a relay and i don't need that because the relays for when you use this or when you when you, when you wire them into your reverse lights and, and i don't want to do that i want to put these on an upfitter um so this is the relay what i'm going to do let me turn this camera around all right so this looks like a mumbled up junk of everything but it's essentially the same as all the others you got your two lights that plug in to it's crazy you got your two lights that plug in to, to, to both of these there's two of these the other one is, is right here i know it's a bunch of wire so these two plug in to the rigid lights and those two red wires from those come up here and they go to this relay right here i don't know if you can see this they go to this relay. So I'm going to cut these two wires and splice them together. Okay? I'm going to cut them two wires and splice them together. And then, well, actually what I'm going to do, I'm sorry, is cut, cut these two wires and then these wires right here. Get your shit together, Colt. My God. Damn, whoever made this is... I don't need half this shit. So you follow your two wires up from there, cut cut them out of the relay, just right like that. And then this wire, this other red wire with the fuse in the end of it right here, that's supposed to go to a terminal. We're gonna cut that terminal thing off and hook that to the upfitter. And the other one has got a terminal on it too, but it's black and it goes to the ground. So basically what we gotta do right now is cut this damn relay out of here. So I'm gonna cut this I'm going to splice these wires back together and I'll show you what it's like after that because it's a, it's a mess right now. So let me get to splicing. I'll cut these and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut them, heat shrink around it, splice it together, and then we'll be able to run it from the back bumper all the way up to the upfitter. So it shouldn't take too long. All right. So hopefully I'll be able to explain a little bit better now. Um, I've cut the relay out and I'm going to show you what I've done. So these right here these are the ends that plug into the rigid lights they just plug into the light it goes from the backup lights on the back bumper this wire is going to be zip tied up along the frame right here okay all on the frame and then right here is where i cut this relay out that i don't need so i just cut the wires out and the, the two lights or the two wires coming from the back are going to then be spliced together heat shrunk butt spliced and then it's gonna be squeezed together to this one red wire that's gonna to go to the upfitter. Did the same thing. Splice these two lights together or these two blacks together to the black that goes to the ground. So essentially, I just did away with the relay that we don't need. I know it was a little bit hard to explain a while ago, but so once it leaves the splice, it's gonna go red to the relay you want, your fuse, and this will go to any uh, ground location that you want. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to mount these. See, these aren't the cubed ones because this bumper, my rear bumper doesn't take cubed lights. So what I'm gonna do next off camera, cause I've done it before and you all know, is put the little mount bracket right here and then mount them in this hole. So once I get that done, I'll pop a video real quick and show you that I've got this end connected to this end. Just like that. So I'm gonna get that done and I'll be back. All right, so I've got the rigid light, the little mount mounted, this little carriage head bolt right here, I'm gonna go through. And all you do is put it up here like that get it how you want it 
and then tighten it down with this nut and washer right here. Uh, you can't see it, but that's all you do. So I'm going to get that done and we'll be back. So let's recap what we've done so far. We've mounted this light. We've mounted this light. What I did. All right. So I kind of zip tied it as best as I could up under here. So this light right here went to this connector and I put wire loom all around everything. Okay, and the, and the wire that went to the other side I've got wire loom on it too. It went through up here, through here, and then this is it right here. I'll come back and zip tie that up, but it goes all the way to the other side. Get to it. I gotta come here and cut some of these zip ties still, but it come come up through here. I got it right here on top of this. It's zip tied up here, and there's the connector to it right there. So. It's all in wire loom, it's all zip tied. I'll come back and I'll cut these tails with um, some clines or something. And then, bear with me guys, I'm trying to move this thing as I go. And then, what I did was I brought it all along through there, up here, as high as I could out of the way, I kept going, zip tied it, zip tied it, zip tied it, zip tied it, all the way to the front up there. So, everything's hooked up, everything's ready to go. And what I did, I couldn't find my fish tape, so I got a clothes hanger and bent it, bent it straight, and at the end of it, I put a hook. I found me a little way through, and if you can see, Here's the end of the clothes hanger with the hook. I just put these two on here like this. And now what I'm gonna do is pull it up through the engine bay. So essentially I'm just pulling it up right here, bringing the wires up. So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'll pull it up through. And then all we gotta do is hook up the upfitter, hook it up to the upfitter and we're, and we're golden. So be right back. All right, my neighbor's mowing right now. I hope it doesn't mess it up. So essentially we've got the clothes hanger and now I've just pulled my wire up and discard the slow hanger and I'm going to feed feed the rest of the wire up and it's probably going to take a little while because I'm going to have to get under there you know and, and, and feed the wire loom up but it's just caught on something so let me go down there real quick all right now I've got my wire So now, what I'm going to do is find a, a, a safe place in here to zip tie this, and I'll zip tie this wire loom to it, and then we'll hook up the upfitters. All right, so I've taken the box off the upfitter, little location. You'll you'll look in there until you see a little piece of labeling like this, and you look. I, I'm going to put mine on relay number five, and relay five it says it's going to be brown and blue. Okay, so you look for the brown and blue wire, which is right here. I found it. So I'm going to skin that back, put a butt splice on it, and then connect this red one right before the fuse to that upfitter. And I'm going to connect the ground that I've already put this on there. I'm going to connect it right here to this terminal on this battery. So the, the black is going to be the ground that goes there. The hot, the red wire, is going to go to the brown and blue wire that's on relay number five. So once I get that done, I'll be back. All right, so let's recap. We have the hot wire right here. We butt spliced it to the brown and the blue wire, okay? 
We figured out it was brown and blue from this piece of paper. It says relay number five, output. None of you can see it or not. Brown and blue. So you just find a brown and blue wire, splice your hot leg to it. The black is your ground, and we got it running to the negative battery terminal right here. So black ground goes to the negative battery terminal. Upfitter, the hot, goes to the upfitter you choose. It's relay five, brown and blue. So now we go turn the key on because it won't work without the key, but I'll show you a trick how to make it work with the, with the key off. So the key's on. So now I hit upfitter five and we have lights. Let me see if I can reach it and show you. Off, on, off, on. So relay number five is hot now. We have both lights working. So we're golden. And then uh, that's it, that's all there is to it. Now, if you didn't wanna have the key on, you didn't wanna have the key on, you can only do this for upfitters five and six. But if you don't want the key to be on, this little, well, let me see. There's a little gold wire, or a little gold five amp fuse right here. Can you see that little yellow one right there? You pick that up and it's in a black slot. You move the black slot all the way to the right and then you put the fuse back in it. Then you'll be able to use upfitters five and six with the key off. And I'll do a video on that here pretty soon. But that pretty much wraps up this portion of the video. Of course, tonight I'll, uh, I'll get in the truck and we'll go down the road and put it back up to a fence or something in the woods and we'll see how it lights up. But anyway, just stay tuned and we'll get that done later tonight. But that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go through here and cut the rest of the zip ties with the tails hanging off and just clean it up just a little bit more. But um, that's all there is to it. And I'll holler at you all here in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, it's nighttime. I want to do a little video to show you what it looks like at night with the reverse lights. Um, so I'm going to turn the key on. And number five is on. So that's the lights at night. The heck of bright. So... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my truck in reverse and put it put it in reverse and then turn these off and let you see just the reverse lights because I do have LED reverse lights too that I put in. But um and then we'll add these to it and then we'll go down the road find some a field or something or some woods or something like that. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, maybe that'd be better like up here. So okay. So that's with the lights on. I'm going to start my truck. So, turn them off. So the truck started. The truck started right now. It's dark. So I'm going to hit just my regular reverse lights. This is my regular reverse lights with my parking brake engaged so it won't roll back. Now I'm fixing to hit the upfitter and turn the bumper reverse, the rigid lights on. So, so that's what it looks like with um, the reverse lights and the rigid lights on all together. But we're going to go down the road real quick and uh, we'll find a field or something like that and back up to it and see what, what we can see. All right. All right, just for comparison, um, well, my trucks, I just put it in reverse right here. Okay, so I'm going back, as you can see. That's just the reverse lights. Now I'm gonna turn on the rigid reverse lights. And uh, so you can see that it had gotten brighter on the screen. It kind of just diffuses a little bit, but just kind of wanted to get y'all a, um, a view, that view as well. So here, I'm gonna turn them off. So, all right. And I did a, a few videos a while ago about, you know, the rigid lights in the front. Um, I wired these up to my fog lights. I'll turn them on real quick. That's the fogs and here's the rigid spots. So it's pretty bright. I'll turn all that off and we'll go to a field or something like that. I got a church right down the road. And when I get there and I'll set up, I'll, uh, put the reverse lights on and see what we can see 
Alright, so a little example, we're rolling down the road right now, somebody's tailgating me and they won't get off my ass and they just, so all I'm going to do is hit this up fitter number five. But like I said earlier, if somebody was tailgating me right now, um, or whatever, you know, just get off my ass. I'll, I'll hit him real quick at them lights. They'll get back. So let me turn around, put my, my rear end up to the field, and then we'll be back. All right, so I've backed up to this little open field area. And what I'm going to do is let you see behind me when it's uh, nothing on. So it's probably pretty dark out there. And I'm going to hit the rigid. Um, reverse lights and it lights up pretty good so I'll get out real quick and let you see but I mean it's it's all the lights you'd ever need I mean I can see all the way to the top of them trees up there um, I don't know if it, the GoPro's picking it up or not but this, this big oak right here I can see the oh that's a pine I'm sorry I, camera's messed up but a big top of that big pine right there I can see all the way to the top so I mean these lights are plenty bright enough for backing up a boat or whatever so just from behind and that's that's not with my reverse lights I have a LED reverse lights as well um, so it's pretty bright I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out I'll get back to the house and um, I'll, I'll adjust them up and down how it needs to be but I'm, I'm super happy with them um, and without it real quick I'll turn them off and they'll be you'll see these trees just go to sleep so you can't see nothing I mean it's and then on it lights up the world all right we got one last video um some guy was running up at the church while ago was in that field yelling at me for using my lights in the field or something I don't know but I'm, I'm back at my house and I've backed up to the fence and I just kind of want to turn these lights off and show you what it looks like backed up to this fence so that's I'm parked right now. I'm finna hit the upfitter. One, two, three. So, I mean, if you can't see from that, then ain't no light gonna be bright enough for you. You know what I'm saying? That sucker's bright, you hello. But once again, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, means a lot. Like, share, subscribe. Anyway, um, trying to grow this channel. But thanks for watching. God bless.